in this video we're going to talk about how to determine or how to find what we call the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So in other words, um, find a formula for the sequence, okay? Now there is a formula that you could use, um, that we use for arithmetic to find the nth term a n. The nth term is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. This is kind of the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence and you could use this to find, this is multiplication, use this to find the nth term of any arithmetic sequence. So for example, uh, this one straight up gives me the, the first term and you know d. So I could, in other words, just plug it in to find the nth term. The nth term of this particular sequence, which starts at 200 and has a common difference of negative 60, is equal to 200 plus n minus 1 times d, which is negative 60. And I'm going to simplify that. a n is 200 plus, this negative 60 is going to distribute negative 60n plus 60. So a n is equal to 200 plus 60 is 260 minus 60n. This is my nth term for this particular arithmetic sequence, which means if I want to find any other term number, let's say the eighth term, I could just plug in 8 for n, 260 minus 60 times 8, and I can get that term number. So the nth term is an explicit um, formula so this is going to give me the direct term number. A8 is equal to um, negative 220. So the eighth term is negative 220. So this gives me the explicit formula for an arithmetic sequence, which is good because we could straight up find the term number that we want. Now sometimes you're not you know, particularly given the actual first term and the um, common difference. This, in this case, we're starting with a recursive formula. So what I like to do with something like this is find the first few terms of this arithmetic. I don't know. Let's say I don't know it's arithmetic. Let's write the first few terms, see if there's a pattern. If there is, then I can use, you know, um, then I can use this formula if it's arithmetic. So I want to find the nth term of this in explicit form. Well, let's find the first few terms. A1 is negative 9. They tell me that. A2 is equal to A1 plus 6. A1 is negative 9 plus 6. So the next um, term number, negative 9 plus 6, is negative 3. Negative 3. A3 is equal to A2 plus 6. So um, A2, we just found, was negative 3 plus 6, which is 3. So it looks like I'm adding 6, so plus 6, 9, to each term to get to the next one, if you could see. Plus 6, plus 6, and so on and so forth, which means that it's arithmetic. I'm adding the same number to each term to get to the next one. So the common difference in this case is 6. And the first term in this case is negative 9. So I could find the nth term in explicit form. An equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. a1 is negative 9 plus n minus 1 times d, which is 6. Simplify negative 9 plus the 6 is going to distribute. 6n minus 6. An is equal to negative 9 minus 6, which is negative 15 plus 6n. You know, I could also write it like this, 6n minus 15. Both of them mean the same thing, right? And this is my nth term for um, this particular arithmetic sequence in explicit form. This is in recursive form. Um, if I want to double check and make sure everything makes sense, of course, I can always, you know, make sure this is correct. We're finding the first term, plugging in one here. Does it match? The second term, plug in here. Does it match? If I want to find the tenth term, I can because now I have it in explicit form. Um, so this, you know, this is my nth term of this particular arithmetic sequence. Let me see if I have another one. Um, again, this is directly given. I don't have to. Um, well, let's look at this one. Find the nth term. What's the nth term? So let's see if this is arithmetic first because I can't just assume that it is, right? So I have to see what kind of um, sequence it is. And not every sequence is either arithmetic or geometric. Some of them are neither and they have other types of of uh, patterns, but right now we're just talking about arithmetic or not. Here, so what did I do? I'm adding negative 5. Am I still adding negative 5? Yes. Am I still adding negative 5? Yes. I'm adding the same number to each term to get to the next one, which means that it is arithmetic. I can't always assume that. I have to check. And the common difference is negative 5, and a1 is 6. 
So again, if I want the nth term, a1 plus n minus 1 times d, which is negative 5, and simplify. 6, and then distribute negative 5, minus 5n plus 5. A n, the nth term is 11 minus 5n. If I want to find any term number, you know, let's say I want the 10th term. What is the 10th term? I plug in a, plug in 10 into um, n, and then I can find the 10th term. a 10 is 11 minus 50. A 10. And therefore, a 10 is equal to, um, what is it, negative 39. So, you know, I could be given different things. I could be given A1 and D. I could be given a sequence. I could be given, you know. But at the end of the day, if it follows a pattern where um, I have a specific type of sequence where I'm adding the same number to each term to get to the next one, it's arithmetic in form, and I could find the nth term, a formula in explicit form, so that I can determine any term number that I want if it's arithmetic.